Hey Gemini, I'm gonna do your reading here. This is for Gemini singles, okay? So this is for singles that are uh, looking for a new connection to come in or waiting on a new connection, whatever the case is. But uh, this is for Gemini singles wanting a new connection to come in, all right? Um, if for some reason, um, you know, I kind of feel like someone from the past does you know, that energy, I feel it. I'm going to let you know, uh, but I'm going to be focusing more on um, future, future energy, new energy and stuff like that to see what's coming towards you. OK, um, so let's see what's, what we have going on here for you guys. Um, hope all is well with everybody. Uh, appreciate my current subscribers. Thanks for the support. If you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Neil. We're going to get started here. All right. So let's see for Gemini. Singles, new, what's coming in? New connections, let's see here. Uh, we have the Seven of Cups, all right? So you're going to have some options here, Gemini. Um, so you might have uh, a, quite a few options coming towards you here, all right? So uh, Scorpio type of energy too. Um, so you have Seven of Cups, so we do have options. The Palace of Swords, so... The Palace of Swords is about you kind of, um, you're being okay, you, you're you're stable by yourself, okay? This is air energy, okay? Um, so you, you're you're all right, you're content. So the Geminis that I'm speaking to that are single, um, you know, you're okay being single, okay? But, uh, but also you do have some options or you already have some options here that you can choose from, all right? Um, but you're just kind of looking at this from afar here. You're just kind of, kind of gauging you know, you, you're kind of just kind of seeing what these options are all about right now. Maybe you're, you know, taking a look at them, uh, you know, what this person offers you, what that person's off person offers you. You know, I, I kind of off the bat with the Palace of Swords there, I feel like you've, um, you know, you're strong, you're independent, you know, you, you can do your own thing. You don't need anybody. You're not codependent. OK, these are for the Gemini singles that I'm speaking to right now. All right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so definitely a group of you Geminis are feeling, you know, doing your own thing here. Okay, let's see. Uh, you have the Queen of Wands, all right? So fire energy could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, and this could be you too. This could be you, like I said earlier, you're just kind of um, doing your own thing. You're, you're not necessarily needing anybody. Um, you don't, uh, you're not sitting there wanting a connection just because, you know, you want a connection. You want this connection to be right for you, okay? You're looking for someone to come in to compliment you, to support you, um, you know, something like that. You're, you're not really uh, rushing into things right now. Uh, with the Queen of Wands energy, this is somebody that is, uh, if you look at her, she's, again, you know, dressed up, you know, she's, she's, it's, you know, very strong, very powerful, very, uh, you know, I got my shit together, all right? So I'm fine by myself, all right? That's the energy you're, you're putting out here, Gemini. Okay, let's see. Let's move the cards a little bit this way here. But yeah, you got options and you're, and you're just kind of taking a look at these options right now, okay? Uh, for the singles, uh, for the group of Geminis that I'm speaking with, um, you know, there, there's a few here that do have options they're they're taking a look at these options um you know not really um taking things too seriously um kind of you know you know in your own power and stuff like that too so you again you're just kind of doing your own thing now there's a group of um um gemini's here that i feel like just not sure whether you know a relationship is the right thing for them right now okay um at the page of cups here at the bottom so i just feel like um you know there's some gemini's here that just for you know they i feel like you want some new connection to come in um but you also don't you, you're kind of going back and forth meaning like you don't want to waste time on a connection you kind of want to make sure this is a a solid foundation before we're moving forward but that's really hard to do as well too right um let's see we'll get all the cards out we have knight of wands more fire energy so this is um Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, again. Uh, so you could be dealing with the fire sign, all right? You could just be, uh, you know, a new fire sign could be coming towards you. You could be going towards the fire sign. 
um, but you're definitely um, connecting here with some sort of fire sign here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's a very light, friendly, in and out type of, you know, dating maybe. Uh, maybe it starts off with a little bit of uh, fun, you know, something like that. So let's see. Um, let's see all the cards here that come out here for you, okay? <clears throat> so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a Gemini, you could be dealing with the fire sign. King of Cups. So we do have water energy here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, you know, it could also mean that you are, or this person is very, uh, yeah. you know, King of Cups has been a, a card of, you know, deep emotions and stuff like that, but also in tune with their emotions, you know, they understand kind of what they want, what they're feeling, okay? And this could be you too. You've, you've kind of opened up to a situation. Um, you know, you're ready to open up. Maybe that's what it is as well. You're not really, again, you, you, you know, you or them here, this Queen of Wands energy, this is someone that is um, content being by themselves, yet open to new opportunities, open to new love, okay? So this could be that. Uh, for some of you Geminis, you could be just dealing with another water sign uh, or a water sign. So we have fire and water so far, okay? We're going to get some clarifiers and kind of try to narrow it down. But so far, Gemini, we do have, again, you know, we start off this reading with Seven of Cups. So you do have you do have options coming your way here, all right? So you might have a couple of choices you're going to have to make. And, um, I mean, if you want to make those choices, you know, it's entirely up to you. Um, you do have the lovers that comes out here. So there is a deep connection that's coming towards your way. This is Gemini energy, okay? So there is a deep divine connection coming your way, all right? So... Um, you know, and that's paired up right next to the Queen of Wands, all right? So let's see. So definitely something destined, something divine coming your way here. Uh, but I feel like there's options. I feel like somebody here has options. Um, <clears throat> yes, seven, uh, Six of Swords. So this is uh, Aquarius energy in this deck here, all right? So, um, you know, this is uh, somebody is moving forward. Um towards you here but um you know maybe they are taking their time here you have the uh, knight of coins here at the bottom maybe it's been been a very slow process to get this going here um let's see and then you have the knight of swords your energy here so libra gemini aquarius energy so we have a lot of air sitting over here so we have fire and air okay a little bit of um uh water here but but we do have a king and queen of wands, okay? So we have the king and the queen, all right? So uh, let's see, bottom of the deck, we have the six of cups. Um, so look at this. We got, we have the lovers. We have the king of wands. Let's try to get these cards out here. Okay, so if you look at that, we have the king and queen and the lovers. So this is definitely a deep connection. All right, so this is a, uh, you know, a connection that you can't deny. I mean, I feel like if you have choices or they have choices, I feel like when you meet this person, I think those choices are going to be kind of gone here. I feel like you're going to have this connection or maybe some sort of like um, magnetic type of pull with this person or maybe like, you know, maybe, you know, you're dreaming me again. You know, maybe you're dreaming about a person here, maybe lately even having some dreams, uh, about people that you've never even seen before, you know, that could be, maybe make sure you have like some sort of journal that you're writing it down to, but you could be kind of getting um, some messages here, some downloads of who might be coming towards you. But uh, again, heavy uh, Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Um, you have the lover's card, Gemini, that's your energy, and you have the Queen of Wands. So you could have fire in your chart. Um, so that's another thing too. So Gemini, definitely a, a power couple here, okay? So this is the this is a couple here that can build, get together, work together, and build a really nice environment, really good future with each other. All right. So that's what we got here. Um, let's see. And we have Knight of Wands, so it's going to be very passionate, uh, emotional type of energy. So maybe that's the King of Cups sitting over there, just kind of, and the Empress sitting right here too. So this is. 
you know, it, it's a connection to where I think you both kind to kind of um, open up to each other. Okay, so this could be a connection where you are emotionally, uh, you know, you get attached with this person. That person is emotionally attached with you. I don't feel like there's secrets. I don't feel like there's, um, you know, things are being held or, you know, lies or anything like that. I just feel like this is a connection that is divinely, it's a divinely guided connection. I mean, there's nothing else I could say with that one. Yeah, I mean, this is straightforward. I mean, you got the Queen of Wands, Lovers, King of Wands. Um, you know, Knight of Wands does tell me this is a new passionate beginning here somewhere. Nothing too serious in the beginning, but it is a power couple. So you are pairing up with somebody here. Um, so let me get three more cards here. Um, see how this is going to go, this relationship. But I mean, it says it right there. It's a definitely divine connection coming your way. All right. Um, Nine of Wands, this has been coming up here. So you are the other person that does come towards you. Or again, if you're going towards somebody, um, you know, make sure you're you're being open to opportunities right now. Don't be guarded at the moment, okay? So make sure that is out of your hair. Uh, Sagittarius energy. Uh, you do have the wheel, so so something is moving forward here for you. So this new connection is moving you forward to something good here. So that's good. Um, again, new connection. I think everything in the past has been is done um and this is just um something new knight of wands and then you have the page of wands so page of wands energy is a very you know um childish type of energy it's a very immature dating you know just in and out so i feel like it's a very um very new energy for you we do have the tower in the back there so let's see um we do have the wheel page and a tower so i don't know if and then also the nine of wands. So I don't know if something happens to where, be aware on, on sab sabotaging this, okay, Gemini. Um, this could be something to where you're just really bordered up and not open to the opportunity and then not wanting to move forward, okay? And this could cause a tower. This could end something here. But um, also, um, let me take a better look at this now because I do see the tower and now that's bugging me. All right, let's see. Because we have the wheel. Everything looks good. Um, this tower might be something to where it feels like a, you know, a shock, you know? They have the world card now, but it feels like a shock here. It feels like something that you didn't expect, you know? Um, again, but it's page, knight and page. Very small offer. Um, or not small offer, just like something new. Very, very... Um, uh, what's the word i'm looking for like when someone when someone starts a new relationship it's very new it's fresh okay um it's going to take time but it's very there's a lot of passion uh there's a lot of fire behind this connection all right good got it out the way i wanted to get it out there all right uh there's the moon card so um we are going through a full moon right now i am doing this recording on the 19th uh, which is probably going to be uploaded today anyway um so the moon card here um, you know, this is things being illuminated, okay? This doesn't look like secrets. This doesn't look like you guys have, um, you know, a past that you don't want to share with each other. I feel like there's an open connection. Again, with the wheel, this is moving forward to your future. This is moving forward to a better better um, connection here, okay? With the moon card, it's like being illuminated to this connection. So I feel like this person comes in, maybe ask you on a date, or maybe you ask them on a date. And, you know, that tower maybe earlier that we saw was just like one of those things where you're just kind of like, wow, I didn't expect this to happen. And you've kind of illuminated yourself to this connection and seeing how deep this connection is. With the lover's, lover's card down there, you're starting to feel like this is the divine connection. You're feeling like this is someone that you, uh, you know, you can't live without. You know, I feel like you, and I don't feel like it's off the bat. I feel like you're going to get to know this person, go on a couple of dates and start realizing who this person is, their personality, you know, it may not even become looks anymore. I think it's more about this person, who they are inside. And I feel like you're going to be able to see those things. Okay. So let's see. Um, and then you have the five of swords. Okay. So nine of wands and five of swords. So I feel like both of you guys. Okay. So maybe that's what it is too. Both of you guys are questioning this, this connection. Um, again, you have the queen and king of wands down there next to the lovers. So, so it's saying that this is a good connection. This is a strong connection. But both of you guys, 
um, air energy and fire energy just kind of bordered up here, boundaries up, okay? So you are not trusting this person that soon and this person's not gonna trust you that fast. But I feel like eventually, you guys are gonna open up. You guys are gonna be talking here, all right? And I mean, you guys are already gonna be talking, but you're gonna you're gonna really open up to this connection eventually, okay? I just feel like you guys might be, you know, in the beginning here with the page in the night, like I said, you know, maybe you, you know, this person had options, maybe you have options, maybe in the beginning of the stages of the relationship, it's very like, you know, little little back and forth, maybe, unsure. Maybe, you know, this person. You kind of feel like this person has someone else, you know, th those type of feelings. And I feel like get that out of your head. All right. Stop. Stop thinking about that. Just kind of go with things and understand that, you know, this is a def definitely a good connection for you. All right. So that is all I had here for you. So definitely a fire sign. Feels like heavy fire sign. If anything, maybe a water sign. Uh, Pisces. Um, yeah, Pisces energy. But yeah, uh, fire. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. And if it is a water sign, Pisces, okay? So that is what I had for you guys. If this did resonate, go ahead and hit the like. And, you know, just if you do hit the like and subscribe and share, um, it definitely helps the channel out. And, uh, you know, it can kind of help me grow the channel and and, uh, and all that stuff. So I really would appreciate that. And uh, until next time, you guys have a good one. All right, see ya.